Very often nowadays, you know, you go to large supermarket and you can find all kind of meat like this. This is a whole fillet of beef, complete fillet, also called the tenderloin. It's about close to six pounds clean. There is a big layer of fat here. I bet you with a layer of fat untouched would be about seven and a half pounds, quite a large one. So what you want to start pulling out on the silver skin, and that came, it came with what we call the chain here. That thing attached to it is the chain. And we want to remove that, because there is a lot of kind of a sinew inside. Note that you discard it, but what you can do is to spend some time on it. You know what, what I do, and scrape it to the sinew like this. You can see all, the, all those sinew there. I scrape the meat of the sinew, and I do to form into great hamburgers. Then there is still, as I said, a fair amount of fat. And underneath, underneath the filet, this is the head of the filet, and underneath there is a layer of fat here, again, which is almost like the shine, you know, which kind of come out easily by itself. Now the filet, a little more silver skin here. I am going now, this is the head of the filet with that big knob. We separate it a little bit here because that silver skin kind of go inside a little bit. And we want to remove that silver skin. So you go with your knife this way, then you hold it and you go. See, what you want to do is to really scrape so you see the way I hold my knife, not flat, not this way, but slightly higher so that I can scrape again the skin so I don't remove any meat with it, you know. But this is really, really tough, that silver skin. Now, often you roast a whole filet like this, you will put the tail back here and attach it so the same thickness is throughout, so it cooked at the same speed. Or very often we divide it into different pieces. So let's say this is the top. We usually will cut the whole head of the filet here, where that is, into one large. And that whole head is going to be done into a large steak, we call a Chateaubriand for two or three people. Here, are what are called tourneau, you know, and the tourneau uh, is about eight ounces. We start cutting smaller pieces, we call the petit filet mignon. We have the petit filet mignon, and then finally, often with the tail, we cut it into strip to do a beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff is sauté with sweet pepper. Sauté like that, it's a delicious, it's an instant stew. You sauté it and serve it rare. The petit filet mignon. Then the larger tourne d'eau. And finally, the big piece of meat, which often we wrapped. You wrap to make it stand up. Pound it into a Chateaubriand. You wrap it in something so you don't break the meat too much. So you will have a large steak here, which is going to serve three or four, usually those that are grilled or saute. So, we have the ground meat that you do hamburger with. We have the petit filet mignon. We have the big tourne d'eau. We have the large Chateaubriand and finally the tail of the filet for stroganoff.